And everybody listening knows about sleep deprivation because my hunch is everybody has suffered it. Maybe a night or two, maybe many nights with a small baby or, or someone who's sick or maybe uh, worry about an exam or a business deal. And, and I think what we'd probably say right off the bat is when we don't get good sleep, we just don't feel like our mind is clear. And if that comes to pass not just one or two nights, but night after night after night, I think this uh, little diagram suggests that this then becomes a cascade of problems. I mean, not just that uh, not thinking clearly as you see in bullet two cognitive impairment, but irritability, short tempered, um, you know, our judgment may be a wee bit off. Uh, maybe we're a little more sensitive to things. But uh, as you kind of scan down the list, other things are now, other dominoes are now starting to fall. Our immune system doesn't work as efficiently. Uh, we get heart rate variability, and, and we're beginning to learn that heart rate variability is a predictor of, of lots of disease states and lots of symptoms. And then a bit of a surprise there, it says in terms of our musculoskeletal system, we have increased reaction time. You'd say, oh, you're quicker, faster, more nimble. No, this is more along the lines of a twitch or hypervigilance, not fine motor tuning. In fact, as you can see, decreased accuracy, muscle aches. And then, much more ominously, you know, this is persistent sleep deprivation, growth suppression. You might say, well, I'm grown. I'm an adult. No, uh, throughout our lifespan, you know, we're producing growth hormone, which has a lot to do, human growth hormone, which has a lot to do with cellular repair and the velocity of aging. Um, risk of obesity, decreased temperature, and that's just with sleep deprivation. So back in the 1970s, it was popular for just a, a sunspot of time for radio disc jockeys. They'd have a fundraising, and they'd try to stay up as long as they could. 24 hours, 48 hours, 72 hours, and um, right around 48 to 72 hours, they began to actively hallucinate and essentially looked and felt psychotic. So, you know, that's kind of at the far end behaviorally of the effects of sleep deprivation. So we know that um, not getting regular refreshing sleep can have all sorts, a real spectrum of uh, of symptoms and all sorts of problems for us mere mortals.